Hey guys, Chris here. Just got this on Amazon for $35. It is a Uni T UT210E 100 amp AC DC mini clamp meter. 35 bucks. True RMS. All that good stuff. So LDS Reliance did a video, and that was the main purpose why I got one. Is he said uh, every do-it-yourself solar guy needs to have one of these. And honestly, uh, after watching his video, I said, yeah, I agree with that, 100%. And I had been, you know, kind of haphazardly looking around for one. And they're, you know, the fluke's about 100 bucks, and they go up to 150 or, you know, even higher than that. But I just wanted something to check my solar panels and some DC voltages, and we'll, we'll do that here in a second. But it comes in a really nice looking box. Has a really cool carrying case. It came with some leads which you can plug in right here to check voltage. Looks like there's a diode checker and a capacitor checker in there too, which is kind of unique. Uh, the first thing I did when I got this is noticed how sturdy it was. Like, man, <clears throat> our China friends over there did a good job on this deal. Um, and of course it had batteries already in the compartment and I don't think they're alkaline batteries at all they are made in China and the first thing I did was put some alkaline batteries in here triple A's and it comes with good directions looks like it was edited by someone who speaks English which is really good. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so let's get right into the nitty-gritty. The reason why I need one of these in my toolbox, and I don't want, like I said, I don't want to spend a crap ton of money. Clamp meter for DC, you just put the wire in there and you can read what the current is. And that's really important when you're checking solar panels, individual solar panels. If you have a lot of solar panels and you're not sure if one is getting shading or one is dead or a diode's bad or something like that, you know, it's clamping under the wire. And we'll go up back and I'll show you how to do that here in a second. But I want to show you a quick little thing that <clears throat> is kind of cool that I'm going to use it for here in the garage. So I'm going to do this with one hand clamping on here and with the other hand on the camera trying to show you the, uh, the display reading here. It is auto ranging, but it does have selector for 2 amp, 20 amp, and 100 amp. Okay. And like I said, go to LDS Reliance's video and check it out for a little bit more further review. I just want something really quick to check DC current. So let me take the camera off the tripod here and we'll, uh, we'll take a look at here checking some stuff. I'm getting a little bit better sun right now. It's really not a great day to for power making. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. You want to check the big ones first? Let's do the big ones first. This is on the inverter. This is the DC 24 volt input on the inverter. I'm going to set this for 100 amps and set it to DC with this blue button here. See there? Bada bing! 9.4 amps. House isn't using that much power right now. I don't even have the air conditioners on and stuff. Then you can go down here. Check this dog out. These are my solar charge controller inputs here. There's three of them. I'm getting 4.2 on that one. 1.9 on that one. And 2.3 on that one. Let's go over here and see what this one does. 20.5 amps coming off there. Is it up here? 2.6. Pretty cool, huh? Digging it, digging it, digging it, digging it. All right, let's go up back and check solar panels with this thing. All right, I'm up back here. And this is on my new 
arrangement here for the three laminate panels and the wires are all exposed and I can check them with this clamp meter. Okay. Getting about 0.3 amps off that one. It's really raining. This isn't really a good test, but 0.5 amps off that one. Actually, this is a good thing because it's, it'll show you that it can read lower current readings too. Yeah. About one amp there. Let's look at the total. So I got these paralleled in. This is the total right here. 1.9 amps. 2.5 amps. Check that out. That's the positive side. It even shows you what positive is too. See, there's the positive right there. That's a good thing. And here's the negative. See there? It shows the negative. That is cool. Alright, let's go over here. I'm starting to sprinkle off a little bit too. But we'll be underneath the solar panel. <laughs> let's see what this one's doing. Yeah, I'm not making much power in the rain here, am I? <laughs> okay. And you can check. See right here. So that one right there. And that string. Come here. What, you can, what you can do is you can dis disconnect and check them if you need to. Actually, I think that's going to read series current, because these are in series. If you put this on here, that string is going to read that, because this, that should be about the same. Yep, sure is. Okay, so what you're doing is you're actually checking the whole string there, which is kind of cool. And ditto with checking stuff over there, too. So... Things we do on rainy days, huh? Yeah, but I love this thing. He was right. LDS Reliance is right on the money. Check your stuff. Hey, now we're back in the garage. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how to use the leads on here. It's just like any other multimeter, digital multimeter that you have. What I did was I selected volts on here. And hold the light on there and plug the leads in let's just check the battery see what's going on here there you go 1.56 so there you go boy that's a nice little unit one thing i noticed on here is that when you this light here says to hold it and it stays on but it like turns off like in five seconds so I don't know if there's an adjustment. I may have to read the uh, directions, but, it, but the light doesn't stay on very long. See how it shuts off? Let's turn it on here and I'll sh see. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. About 15, 16 seconds is all the light you get on here. Hmm. But that's one thing I don't like about it. Other than that, this clamp will go uh, right around a, you know, a 2 watt cable, which I really, really like. Um, but I, think, I still think it will read a bigger cable, uh, you know, 3 watt, 4 watt, if you needed it to. So, pretty cool. Pretty happy I got this. I'm going to use a snot out of this. I know that. And... What I didn't show was, uh, let me zoom back out a little bit. On my battery bank, here, let me move over here. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, on my battery bank right down here, I'm do an inspection on here, and I'll use this to check uh, cables, current through the cables too. 
So, all right. Hey, thanks again to LDS Reliance for doing a video and, you know, showing that this is something that do-it-yourselfers um, who do solar can really use, because I know I'm going to use the snot out of it. I'm glad I got it. And I'm glad our community helps each other out and does reviews on stuff to, um, you know, show people, you know, what they have and and uh, use and like and all that good stuff. So, all right, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, share this video, like, dislike, and all that good stuff. Later.